friends, it's Melanie, and today I wanted to share with you my favorites for the month of August. Um, I figured since we were in the beginning of September, now would be a good time to do that before I completely forget everything that I loved during the month of August. So let me go ahead and get started. I have a lot more beauty products this month that were, yeah, that were, um, you know, my favorites than I usually do. Um, I guess you guys wouldn't know that though, since this is only my second time to film a video like this. Anyway, I digress. Let me go ahead and show you first what my favorite um, foods were for this month. And I only have two of them because I love food and I could go on and on and on. But these are two of my absolute favorite. Yeah, I just was constantly going to them time and time again. The first one is hummus and not just any hummus but cilantro and jalapeno hummus it is so good i like spicy food now don't get me wrong i like regular hummus as well and i like like roasted garlic hummus um and some other kinds but this one is hands down my absolute favorite i love it and the way that i've been having this is just in my little um blue container from 21 day fix that way I don't sit and just eat it straight out of this because that is not a good idea. I put um, I put this into the little blue container, which is your container that you use, um, if you're not sure, on 21 Day Fix. The blue container is the one that you use for your healthy fats, so cheese, hummus, avocado, things like that. Um, and the little blue container actually holds quite a bit. So I just put this in the little blue container, and then I have this with carrots or broccoli or sugar snap peas or um, bell peppers of some sort or really anything. I try not to eat this with, you know, pita chips or any other kind of chips because that to me is not the healthiest option and I'm really trying to do better, you guys. I so am. So this is definitely one of my favorite snacks of all time. And this one I happen to pick up from Trader Joe's, but um, there is a, there is a brand at Kroger that I have found, I think it's Pita Pal, that also makes a cilantro jalapeno and it is just as good. But this is the one that I have, I haven't opened it yet and I will be like today because I just finished my other one yesterday. So the other food item that I wanted to share with you guys is something that I had never even tried until the month of August, but I really like it. It's like, like I really like it, it is good. When I have a craving for something sweet, which doesn't happen a lot, but every now and then we all get sweet cravings um or especially if i'm wanting like cookies again that doesn't happen all the time but i have been loving the apple cinnamon fig bars by nature's bakery they are so good i mean you cannot even tell that this is a semi-healthy food and I don't really feel bad about um, buying these because they are made from um, whole wheat. They are non-GMO project verified. Obviously, this is not a gluten-free food, um, but I'm, I don't have to eat gluten-free. And let me just tell you, I'm making a whole lot of noise. One package of these, which there, it, there's two fig bars in here, is 110 calories. Um, so that to me is a really sensible snack if you have a sweet craving. I don't eat these every day. Um, I'll have usually one, um, I don't know, maybe two a week or something, if even that often. But when I'm having a sweet craving that I know is not going to go away, this is what I've been turning to and it really helps. So that is that. Those are the only two food items that I was going to share with you. Um, let me show, let me tell you my favorite cleaning product this month. If you can technically call this a cleaning product, I do. Um, I have been loving this hand soap by Method. It is the orange ginger scent. It smells so good. It smells amazing. I love it. In fact, this is one that when it runs out, I will definitely be trying to find this scent again. The bottle's all yucky. I apologize. This has been sitting in my kitchen. We use it all the time. So... Yep, I love that one. I don't even, oh, it's just amazing. Okay, let me share with you my favorite candle for the month of August. Now, I did pick this one up toward the end of August, so I haven't really had a chance to use it very much, but I love it. It is two of my absolute favorite scents combined. Now, again, I mentioned in a previous video, I don't even remember which video it was, 
This is a candle that I would only burn during the summertime. Um, even when it starts to become fall and winter, I won't burn this. In the spring, I also won't burn it. So, I have been loving from Yankee Candle the coconut and vanilla bean candle. This is a three wick candle. So it's like a big, I mean, it's, it's pretty decent size. It smells so good. I love coconut in the summer and I love vanilla. And this, it doesn't smell all like weird and fake and uh, I don't know. Some vanilla can be like nauseatingly sweet. This is not. This is so good. If you guys have a chance to smell this and you like the, you know, coconut, I would highly recommend that you try this. It smells, <coughs> excuse me, so good. Favorite candle. So now let's move on to, um, oh yeah, before I do beauty products, let me share with you what my favorite essential oil for the month has been. Um, Really and truthfully, there's not a whole lot of reason behind this one other than I've been diffusing this one and it to me it smells clean and it smells fresh and it's kind of uplifting and it just kind of, I found that it kind of brightens my mood a little bit. I don't, I can't really think of any other way to explain it. It's just been very like invigorating to me and that is, I do use Young Living, this is Lemongrass. And it just smells so, I don't even know. It's like fresh and clean. And I remember, I don't know, a year ago or something, I purchased some hand wipes or cleaning wipes. I don't remember. But they were lemon glass, lemon glass, lemon grass scented. And I had to throw them away. They smelled disgusting to me. Oh, and I can handle a lot of things, but I could not handle those. I had to toss them. But this, one of the things that I really like about, um, you know, high quality essential oils is that they, they don't smell synthetic. They don't smell fake. And those wipes that I bought before, they were like a sickeningly fake lemongrass scent. And they were so gross. The two um, oils that I have been the most surprised by that I've actually liked are lemongrass and lavender. The first time I ever smelled lavender essential oil, I was totally like, it took me by complete surprise because in the past, I did not like anything lavender scented. But that's because it was like synthetic and fake and it does not smell anything like natural lavender. If you've ever smelled real lavender or real lemongrass, you will totally be able to tell the difference. It is, it is crazy. This, I have loved diffusing in my home this past month. And my husband even walked through our dining room one day. I had been working on my computer and so I had this um, in my diffuser. And he said, what smells so good in the dining room? I said, it's lemongrass in the diffuser. So he even noticed. So I thought that that was totally cool. So yes, that is my favorite oil. My children are making noise out in the hall. They're playing nicely. So beauty products. Let me show you, first of all, I picked up this month the um, body butter, the coconut body butter by the Body Shop. This is just the tiny one, but I did pick up the, the bigger size one um, before I got this one. This one, I don't remember why I got it. I think I needed like just a couple of dollars to get me to like, I don't know, something free. I don't remember, but it smells so good. As you, I mean, I have two things coconut scented in here. You're kind of seeing a trend. I love coconut. Just, I love it. Anything coconut. But yes, I got this small one. Um, originally, I was thinking I was going to put it in my purse. But right now, it's kind of hot. And I don't want to put anything like, ooh. I don't want to put anything like this in my purse just in case it gets a little bit too hot um, when I'm out and about. So right now, I just have this sitting in my nightstand right by the bed and I use it at night. Um, the bigger size one is in my bathroom and I'll put it on after I get out of the shower. But yes, this smells amazing. It's amazing, take my word for it. And then let's see, along the same lines as, you know, personal body scents, this is the perfume that I picked up for my birthday and it is Living Grace. Oh, that's gonna be difficult for you guys to see. I'll try to, ah, uh, it's Living Grace by Philosophy and the little line on the bottom, not that it really matters, you know, it's not the reason I bought it. It says live in grace. 
and I, I love that. If you guys, I'm sure you've all noticed my tattoo that's on my wrist. My tattoo actually says Grace. And that is there. People always ask me, um, is your name Grace? Do you have a child named Grace? Is it named, um, is it to help you remember someone named Grace? And the answer is no. It is there to help me remember that every day I'm here by, I'm still here by the grace of God and that he gives me grace every single day. And it is also to help me remember to give others grace. So I love it. I love this word. It is not the reason that I bought this perfume. I bought the perfume because I love the way it smells. It smells clean. It smells clean, but at the same time, um, it's not fruity. I don't do fruity at all. I tend to go be more of a musky, um, that almost doesn't even sound right. More earthy since um, I don't do fruity, but this smells so good. I went into Ulta to buy perfume and I originally thought that I was going to get, um, I don't even remember which one I thought I was going to get, but I smelled it and it was way too floral. I don't do floral at all. Floral or fruity, no thank you. Um, but this one, I smelled it and I was like, that's it. That's the one I want. That is perfect. So I have been wearing this. My kids and my husband always comment on it when I wear it. In fact, I didn't put any on today. Let's put some on. Mm. It makes me feel pretty. Yes, that is my favorite perfume for the month of August. It smells amazing. So, next. Um, oh, I forgot something. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. sorry. I could not forget this one because this is like, if I were going to have an all-time favorites, this would make it into it. So, my, so far, all-time favorite eye cream has been the Ginseng Eye Cream Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Depuff from Origins and... I'm almost completely out. I'm so sad. I still have enough in there to last me a little while, but I'm almost out. So yes, that is my favorite eye cream. I love it. And then to go along with it, I love the Origins Ginseng um, energy, energy Boosting Moisturizer. And you guys, this one, I have wiped it clean. Clean, clean. It smells like oranges. I love it. And now I'm out of it. So, oh, not only that, I'm out of it and I'm in a no spin September. I don't know what I'm going to do. Clearly, I did not think that through. When I knew that I was running out, I should have ordered another one, but I didn't. And now I have to wait until October. But I have a couple of other Origins products that I'm using and they're fine. I mean, they're really good actually. I just don't love them as much as I love this. So this is my daytime or this was my daytime moisturizing routine until I ran out. So um, in the month of August, I went to Ulta in order to find a new foundation or BB cream or CC cream or something cream. Um, because ah, my hair is iffy. It's iffy today. Um, I didn't love what I was using and I got the, it, the, I got a BB cream, pretty sure it was a BB cream by It Cosmetics and I brought it home and I used it for a couple days and I hated it. I did not like it. It was so much heavier than what I was looking for. I returned it. I'm not going to lie. I absolutely returned it to Ulta. Um, because it just wasn't what I was looking for. So there, you know, because of that, I was still on the hunt for a new cream for my face. And I decided, you know what, I'm not going to spend a fortune on a cream when I've seen some drugstore brands that are really good. So I picked up the L'Oreal Magic, Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream in Fair. And I have to tell you guys, I love this product. I love it. It doesn't melt off my face. It doesn't make me sweat profusely. I'm wearing it today and I know that the lighting is a little bit weird because I'm sitting right in front of a window, but you guys can see like, I still have a pretty decent amount of coverage. I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty natural. And um, I love it. And it was like, 
eight bucks. So you cannot beat that. Um, way to go L'Oreal. Good product. So yeah, that has definitely been a favorite. I've been using it now for about a week and a half and I cannot say enough good things about this. If you're looking for something that's really not heavy, um, I would highly suggest trying this. Now, the one thing I will say is the first time I ever used it, I was like, uh, what's this going to look like on my face? Because when you squirt it out of the tube, I'm going to show you guys if I can. When you squirt it out of the tube, it's like white. <laughs> Actually, it's like an like a grayish color, but it has all these tiny little specks in it. And I know that there are other creams out there that do this, that like, see, you got, it got really white, but then you rub it in and it like changes to the color of your skin or something. I don't even know how it works, but I rubbed it in for a second and you guys can kind of see it. It's amazing. It just looks amazing. And I love it. Now I'm just trying to experiment with different powders to see what I like on top of it. Um, the one I'm wearing today is by Urban Decay and it's okay. I don't know for sure that I love it, but we'll see. But yes, this is my, this is definitely a favorite for the month of August. Um, this again, unless something comes along that's even better, this is probably my favorite mascara of all time. Now, this is not a cheap mascara. This is way more than I normally would pay for, um, mascara, but I don't wear it every day. Like, I'm not even wearing it today. I did wear it a couple days ago in one of my Day in the Life videos. I think it was a Day in the Life. I don't really remember. But um, it is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. And if you have ever tried this mascara, you know that it is the bomb. This mascara is a bad mamma jamma. I am not even kidding. This mascara, it's amazing. That's all I can really say about it. It's not cheap, so don't expect cheap. But... I don't use it every day. I might use this once a week, so it lasts a pretty good long time. And this is one of those things that I never would have purchased this mascara in a million years because of how expensive it is, but I got a sample of it in an Ipsy bag one month and I was hooked. After that, I was like, I have to have this mascara. It's amazing and it's my favorite of all time. So yes, that is my favorite mascara. And the last two products slash it's like one, but two products um, are, see my eyebrows? I'm working on them. I'm a work in progress. Today they don't look too bad. I think I have a child coming in. Hello child, what do you need? Did you order books? Did I order books? Yeah, because there's a man There's a guy outside. outside. Oh yes, tell him I will be right there. Okay. I'll be right there. Come go, go. I told you this. Okay, I have to hurry because there's a guy here dropping off homeschool stuff. Okay. Oh, she's not happy. Oh, I have to go really fast. Okay. The last thing is this Dip Brow Pomade by Anastasia. Anastasia. I've heard it pronounced both ways, but in the color taupe. And the brush that goes along with it. And what do you guys think? You like my eyebrows? I'm working on it. I'm learning. Okay. So, that is going to be it for the month of August. These were my favorite products for the, for the month of August. That was very redundant. Um, I'm going to go and take care of the guy that's at my front door. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And yeah, stay tuned for more videos because I will be back very soon. Love you guys. I'll talk, I'll talk to you later.